Well, holy crap. Now that is something completely out of left field. The San Jose Earthquakes have just officially announced today that we have now find a new manager. We have finally signed a new manager for next season. And who would have thought that that new manager is Matias Almeida? Yes, that's right. This is the same guy that took Chivas just a couple months ago, winning their first ever CONCACAF Champions League in 50-something years against TFC. And this is also the same guy that took Chivas a couple of years ago from the brink of elimination to winning titles again, like it was the old Chivas way. And this was also the guy that took River Play, who were in the second tier a couple of years ago, back to the top flight of Argentina football. I mean, honestly, you have already heard a lot of people said that this is an absolute shocking move and that this was a completely unexpected move. And I have to agree with them 150%. Like, I definitely did not see this coming. Like, I thought for sure when we... First of all, I thought we were probably going to announce the new manager coming into the offseason. I thought, you know, there's really no point of us actually announcing who is our future manager now, considering the fact that the rest of the season is over. And I thought it was probably going to be either Caleb Porter or Mark Dos Santos or that those kind of type of manager, but in no way I thought we were going to get Matias Almeida. He is just a complete level above us, and that I didn't think the Quakes would have that money to to spend to get him. And yet, somehow, in some way, we were able to get him. And you, you know what's funny about this? Is that it's not the money that actually encouraged him to join us. It's because he wanted to come to this club, and he wanted to come to MLS just to look for a new challenge and he decided to choose the worst club in MLS to begin his challenge which is also kind of ironic too because if you look at all the club that Matias Almeida has been managed in these past eight or nine season ever since he become manager it's all these teams are in just crisis mode and somehow when he came in he completely cleaned it up and made them good Again, I mean, we saw it with River Plate, we saw it with Chivas, and we saw it with another team that I forgot exactly the name of that team that he was able to promote that team from second tier to to the top flight, which I'm pretty sure someone in the comments will tell me which club that is. But he's known to come in with a club that is in just an absolute mess and are in absolute crisis, and he's able to clean things up. Now, saying that, there is no guarantee that he can definitely do it for us, considering the fact that MOS is just completely different from any other league that he has managed. And you have seen me talk about how I don't really want us to hire a manager that just have no MOS experience and just haven't been proven in MOS that is kind of kind of a guy that can be succeed in MLS. But when you look at Almeida, and from what I heard from many people, he is kind of the Tata Matinho type of manager. They don't actually share the same kind of tactics and philosophy, but it's kind of like right around that same neighborhood of that kind of level. And when you have somebody that is kind of like the Tata Matinho type of manager, you know, I will take that any day of possible. And I think in many ways... Besides the fact that he can potentially transfer our team doing this rebuild, and he probably is the best guy we can choose for this rebuild that we're going to start next season. But I really think now that has really just blown the door in terms of the the guys that we can potentially get in this offseason. Just think about it, you know. Well, the reason why Almeida decided to left Chivas was that he was so frustrated with the fact that Chivas has the strict policy of only signing Mexican player and that he wanted to bring some of his guys down in Brazil and down in Argentina to play in the club that he is managing. But because of Chivas and their Mexican-only policy, they just couldn't do it. And then that's when they kind of had that fallout. Well, now that he arrived at the Quakes and how... 
the Quakes does not have any sort of policy whatsoever where, you know, you can only play American player only or you can only play local kind of California kids only in this team. You know, I would think that that means that he will definitely, first of all, look at those guys that he's potentially going to, well, he was supposed to pick up when he was at Chivas and he's going to bring it to us. And we have seen so far in MLS, there is this trend where a lot of these teams are looking at South America, especially those young South American talent and bring them up here. And we have seen that they have been so successful. I mean, just look at Miguel Almiron, just look at Kaku and just look at Felipe Gutierrez and all these guys that are South American talent, they're young South American talent and they have made such a big impact to the team so i am very happy that the quakes are actually following in the direction where mls is clearly in because for the last couple of years it's pretty clear that the quakes are falling behind in mls they're still in that mls 1.0 kind of hole that they're in and the other thing that i think with Almeida coming into this team is that this will also kind of improve our youth academy and certainly I have heard that he loves to play his his youth kind of talent and the guys from the academy he likes to play his kids that's one of the reason why he was so successful in Chivas and why he won some trophy because despite the fact that he was frustrated that he couldn't bring some of the guys that he he want to bring in Argentina he was able to bring these kids from Chivas and bring these local Mexican talent to the club and was able to work a way around for them to be successful and able to win some trophy. And if that, of course, happens here to the Quakes, that means that we are going to... This will definitely now give a lot of these guys around our area a chance for them to join our academy because i know for a fact that this area is rich in terms of soccer ta talent i mean there is a lot of talented kind of latin american especially mexican kind of talented player around northern california and just california in general but the reason why these guys are not joining our club and not joining our academy is that they know that they're not going to give them the chance the quakes have never usually give some of these kind of local talents these good local mexican kind of player around our area to be promoted into the senior team and just play them properly but now with with almeida in and with him able to give those guys a chance to come in and play for a squad man that is gonna be very very exciting and that will also attract a lot of fans too because you know keep in mind another thing about the fans here is that there is a lot of Chivas fan around this area and I expect that on that Wednesday game when Chivas play Pumas which by the way I will be attending that game I expect that game to be sold out and I already look on StubHubs and other secondary website and how they don't even have a lot of tickets anymore which means that this that place and Avaya is going to be super packed when that Chivas and Pumas game that is going to be taking place this Wednesday. And because these Chivas fans that are also kind of Quakes fans, seeing their beloved manager now moving to their to the club that they also support, that will also bring in the fans and certainly give more kind of... There will be less empty seats that we will see at Avaya Stadium. I mean, the amount of empty seat that we had at Avaya Stadium this season is just incredible. I mean... Of all my years supporting the Quakes, I have not seen a Avaya Stadium feel so empty and just feel kind of dead in terms of the atmosphere this year of all the time that I've supported this team. But obviously, as much as I am very excited about this move, and I'm pretty sure every Quakes fan are jumping in joy and thinking that they have won the MLS Cup because of us hiring Matias Almeida to, to our coaching kind of kind of department let's just try to kind of not jump the gun and just get too carry away with this i still don't think next season is the time where we can just immediately be playoff contention or even title contention i mean i think 
it is th there's still going to be kind of a transitional time we're still going to be have to deal with the same pain in the beginning of the season and also we haven't really signed anybody like we still have the same squad that we've been playing throughout the season and i'll tell you what i guarantee you that if we still have the same squad that we will have next season which i'm pretty sure most likely that's not going to happen if almeida takes charge with this squad that we currently have he is definitely not going to do anything like seriously no manager in the world not even pep guardiola that come in to the quakes can able to manage this team this team is just so dead right now especially in the defense and in the midfield that we just need a complete kind of turnover in this offseason and that we need to just completely start a clean slate get rid of all these dead weight that is unnecessary and then we need to bring in some new guys to fit in this squad and when you bring in new guys into this squad usually that does take time to try to get things going because most of these guys that that i'm assuming almeida is going to bring is not going to immediately just drip jail so i'm not going to say that because of the fact that we finally signed a very good kind of manager like matias almeida that we are immediately going to be playoff contention until when we see these kind of signing that can definitely improve our squad and the fact that they can actually get wins next season and i can see them actually getting three points in front of my very eyes keep in mind i have not seen the quakes getting three points when i'm at avaya stadium since march okay it's been almost what seven months since i've seen the quakes win when i'm at the stadium so until when they finally get those three points and when i see the resort are finally showing then i'm gonna start believing that this team can potentially make the playoffs and potentially maybe just maybe challenge for the title but either way i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below what do you think of this move i'm pretty sure you're absolutely shocked by this move and what does this mean in terms of our off season are we gonna have a complete kind of turnover in terms of this team and how the guys that that been playing this season yeah most likely those players are not gonna be in the the future plan of this team and the future plan of this rebuild that we're gonna start next season so yeah let me know in the comments below what do you think about about this move and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do make sure you guys leave a like smash that subscribe button and yeah i of course will see you guys next time